Hello and welcome to the second ever episode of Ben Cooks here on the channel. Uh, I'm very excited today because today we're cooking cheesesteaks. Alright, so let's get into the vegetables. Alright, spread your oil down. I use vegetable oil. It's also really good to use. Avocado oil. Avocado oil is a good one. Alright, now, let's start on our vegetables. Today, I'm using onions and mushrooms. I didn't have bell peppers, but those are also really good on Philly cheesesteaks. Now these are the longest things you're gonna cook in the Philly cheese steak because uh, you want them to get nice and browned and soft. So I would say at least 10 minutes up on the griddle on around medium heat, around 350 if you have a heat gun. Okay, now those are gonna cook for a little bit. So, let's get into the bread. Now this is just a normal roll, a uh, hoagie roll. Uh, I think we got these at Harris Teeter. Either Harris Teeter or Ingalls, which is a little market around here. You want it to where it has that hinge. Okay, so. All right, these vegetables are coming along real nice. If you have to, you can uh, put down your grill a little bit, turn down the heat. These are just going to stay in the corner. They don't need a ton of movement, but you do want to take them up every once in a while. And now I'm going to... Now, you see me use the seasoning before. It's Kinder's The Blend. It's my favorite seasoning ever. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that over the top. And mix that up nice and well. You'll notice the onions will shrink down and get really soft, which is a good thing. You want them to get soft. Alright, those will go back on the side. Okay, now I get back to you when they're done. All right, it's about time to throw on the meat. Today I have a ribeye. Lay that down, put a little bit of oil on it. This 
this does not take long to cook at all since it's cut so thin. Now, so that to the side. And start up on our bun. Right. So with our bun, we're gonna oil it and plop it on. And get back to this meat. Alright, I'm gonna turn down these burners a little bit. Now you're gonna season these buns with, again, the blend. Oops. The blend. And I'd say that's about done. So let's throw that over there and get started on our prep. Alright, so we're going to do all this in the middle. Okay, now we got that. Let's get these vegetables. Throw these on. I'm a big guy when it comes to onions. So. Alright. Alright, now, cheese, this is important, this is very important, provolone, best, best pick on chili, you don't want whiz, you don't want anything other than provolone, maybe some mozzarella, but provolone has to be the best, oh yeah, now it's so fun, over to the side and just let that cheese melt up a little bit get back to you when okay the cheese is all melted up so let's put it together we're gonna throw our bun on top and then Ooh. Throw this onto the plate. You want to get these though? Alright, now let's throw this onto the plate. And let's fry it. Right now, let's try it. Whew. It's 
pot. So good. Yeah, uh, probably one of the best Philly cheese steaks I've ever had. Um, you can try, you can try this with anything. Really, you can put peppers, take out anything. You can do just meat and cheese. Just please use provolone. It's the best. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can add mayo. Mayo is pretty good on these. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment. And please try this at home. It's the best thing you ever have. See you guys next time. Bye.